right now, a search involving several agencies is happening to find a missing diver off the Jensen Beach coastline. Virgil Price was last seen Sunday morning when he went free diving near a shipwreck. Chris Gilmore is asking the Coast Guard about their search, and he's also digging into the risks of free diving. I spoke with the Coast Guard today, and staff there tell me that the reports of Virgil Price going missing came in right around 9 a.m. yesterday, and they assure me that they've been looking for him ever since. They had uh, headed out with three people about 10 miles off of Jensen Beach to uh, conduct some free diving. They had three free divers on the boat. Three went down, and only two came back up to the surface. The Coast Guard tells me Virgil Price was free diving at the time of his disappearance, something that experts like Paul Seldes says is distinctively different than scuba diving. So the big difference is in free diving is more equipment minimalist. Uh, scuba regulators, breathing gas in a cylinder, um, free diver, no, it's really just breath hole diving. The St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office is assisting in the search and in a social media statement indicated Price was diving near the Halsey, a sunken World War II wreck that Selda says presents challenges. And visibility tends to be not so good in that area, uh, as well as it's pretty prone to some pretty strong currents. So the diving there is difficult to begin with uh, and then added in the hazards of, well, sharp, rusty metal from the wreck itself. Still, he said it's popular as one of the few historic wrecks that are accessible to divers. It's gorgeous. It is breathtaking. It is uh, being part of a, an environment where few people really get to see it. I spoke to staff off camera at Free Divers Florida who say they are grieving his absence. Management confirmed online that Price is the missing diver and that he was family to the team and a dear friend to many. In West Palm Beach, Chris Gilmore, WPTV News Channel 5.